Hello and welcome to my channel. I am here to inspire, motivate and share ideas to refashioning clothing. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this gorgeous looking top. It is a vest top where I added some sleeves just to give it a new look. So if you inspired, then please do continue watching this video. I'll also share some tips along the way. And if you are new to my channel, I'm Colleen Geely. Let's get started. So here we have a vest top and there's nothing I am going to change about this whatsoever. I'm just happy, well more or less happy with the way it looks, but obviously I'm going to be changing it just to give it a little bit more excitement. But for the sleeves, I'm going to be taking these sleeves off this dress. I think this is gorgeous. So I'm going to remove those and add these sleeves onto that top. So we'll start with that since we don't need to do anything with the best top. I'm going to keep the seam as part of the sleeve because this will add a bit more structure to the actual top. So I'll just get my scissors and just cut. The sleeves are cut away. The dress will be used in another project, I'm sure. So I'll put that to one side. And we're ready for the next step, which is to attach this, the sleeves, onto here, onto this top. So I'm going to fit and let's see what the fitting will reveal, see if it fits comfortably, and yes, Okay, this is how the top fits. I'll get the sleeve, put my arm in, put a pin there. That's just to indicate that this is the front of the sleeve. Looks like that. Well, that's okay actually. Just turn on to the back. Oh, I get, I'm getting there. All right. So I'm going to pin here. Okay, so before I show you the next step, I do have a word of warning. And that is, if you do not like hand sewing, look away now. I'm joking. <laughs> I know a lot of people do not like hand sewing. So um, all I'm gonna say is practice. If you want beautiful looking garments, hand sewing is part of that secret to having beautiful looking garments so I'm actually going to hand sew this is it possible for you to do it on a sewing machine yeah but do you want a beautiful looking garment then you will keep following this video until the end and I'll show you how it's done before I attach the sleeve I'm just going to neaten this edge here I'm just using some pink and shears because that looks a lot neater. The raw edge is now being neatened, it's been pink and shoe. 
So matching up the side seam, the side seam and the seam in the sleeve. So let's see, we need to put this just below this border here because it is slightly bigger. And we don't want it to be falling off my shoulders. Put a pin in there. Then just bring it round. So the hand stitching is going to be happening here on this border and where I've neatened that raw edge. Okay, and then this is where the elastication starts. And that will be where I start my sewing or end my sewing, my hand sewing. And this is the back. And again. Yep. That's fine. Okay, that's now pinned into place. And I'll do the same on the other side. So the next thing is to get a needle and thread and start sewing. Um, I would recommend, highly recommend that you give this a go. I'm just going to anchor this one down and I'm going to do a slip stitch. Now I do have a video tutorial on how to do a slip stitch so I'll put a link to that in the description. So that will really help you out. The step by step instructions. My thread has just come out of my needle. Bear with me one moment while I re-thread. Okay. I'm just going to do a slip stitch all the way down. The sleeves are now attached, they've been hand sewn. That's how gorgeous they look. Now all we need to do is try it on and see how it looks. Gorgeous. Let me just turn around. And this one is slipping off. It doesn't want to stay. Why does that always happen? Why do you always get you know, there's one that doesn't, doesn't, wants to do what it wants to do. Oh, well, I love that. But it does have two looks though, because I also like it this way. That's a nice look. I'll give you a tour of that. But if I had to make a choice, it would be this. It would be my original idea. Yeah, I, I, but if I ever come across another garment like this, the second option will definitely be on my new fashion list. So all it basically needs for me to do now is just tack it at the shoulders here. Just a tack stitch, a very strong tack stitch because I still want a sliver of skin showing at the front and also at the back. And then it's complete. More than likely this, this one <laughs> seems bigger than that one. Because that one does stay. Doesn't it? Let me just. Yeah, now it's falling. That one is just. This takes a little bit more effort. <laughs> Put that into jeans. Um, no. Okay, one look, one down. Oh, yes, like that. One look, one down. Ooh. and that one wants to do what it wants to do so I'm letting it do what it wants to do so this one's going to be off the shoulder this one's going to stay up so I'm just going to tap this one into position and that will stay as is okay the project is complete and it's so gorgeous 
I love this asymmetrical look and those of you who follow my channel know that I love asymmetrical garments and yeah this is what I mean when I say at the beginning of the video I'm not really sure I've got a rough idea of what I want to achieve and then throughout the process um, because I've got that creative mind you know I see things and I actually change things if I think it's going to look nice on my body or it's aesthetically pleasing um, but no this sleeve wasn't going to stay as we know we didn't want to so I actually thought okay well I'll play along and yes it was meant to be so I'm really happy with that and now this is nicely tucked in place I really give it a strong tack there so that won't fall down so yeah I'm really happy with that I look amazing with white pants on the skirt denim jeans lots of things anyway if you enjoyed this video at all please give it a thumbs up please do share this with your friends tell everybody about it and if you have any comments or you want to request a video tutorial then please put in the comments below do check the comments as well the description for any links to sewing techniques that I use in my video tutorials thank you for watching and I'll see you next time